Jacob aka Main Infected Musician here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I paint furs. I'm going to do a brown fur uh, but of course you can use this technique to make all different kinds of colored furs. So uh, let's head over to the workbench. And these are the colors that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using Rhinox Hide, Gorthor Brown, Baneblade Brown, and also Screaming Skull. And what I'm doing when I paint the first is that I'm uh, going to use a technique called wet blending. And it's called wet blending because you are always keeping the paints wet basically. Uh, so I will start out with Rhinox Hide and I will cover the entire fur with this color. And then uh, while the uh, Rhinox Hide is still wet I'm going in with Gorthor Brown. And what I do here is that I paint along the edges and uh, um, going in towards the middle, leaving the Rhinox hide, uh, le leaving a small part of Rhinox hide in the middle and uh, concentrating and trying to blend these two together uh, at the transition points. And as you can see here, we we start we have started to really blend these two colors uh, very good, and you can see the Rhinox hide still being uh, its natural color in the middle of the fur, while it gradually converts over into Gorthor brown. And the next color is going to be Baneblade Brown and both the Rhinox Hide and the Gorthor Brown is still wet. And now I'm going to be concentrating even more out towards the edges. When you are doing this kind of work it could be uh, really good to have reference pictures. So for instance uh, uh, search on Google for wolf pelts and use that as a reference and then you might find some really interesting colors uh, that you can use and, and see how the pattern is. And I'm starting to get a really nice finish to this here with the uh, Rhinox hide still showing in the middle slowly blending over to Gorthor brown uh, uh, which is then blending into the Baneblade brown. And as soon as these colors has uh, dried I'm going in with the Screaming Skull to start highlighting those um, hairs in the fur and what I'm doing here is I'm using a technique called wet brushing which sounds really weird since uh, there is only one other case when the brush isn't wet and that is when you are dry brushing but as you can see here when we um, uh, w when I wet brush I um, I take out most of the color from the um, from the brush and just lightly stroking on top of the hairs on the fur. And as you can see here I'm focusing the screaming skull on the edges around the fur. And I'm then going in with some Bane Blade Brown to do the same thing as I did with the Screaming Skull. But on top of the parts that are painted in Gorthor Brown and uh, Rhinox Hide. Just to make some uh, shifts in color even um, amongst the highlights. And the next step will be to paint those claws on this little... Um, piece of wolf pelt that I uh, have sculpted. So I'm going in with a regular black. In this case it's a uh, model color black from Vallejo. And then I'm going in for a highlight on the claws and I'm using Dawnstone. Just making some uh, easy lines just on top of them. 
And then we will uh, let it dry before we go in with our dark brown enamel wash. And I'm just going to paint this all over the fur and the claws. And then we go in with some enamel thinner when it has dried for a bit, just to make sure that those highlights are really visible. And here is the finished result. <laughs> 